Hi friends, it's Mari here from Honeybee Stamps. I have a really fun project for you today, sharing a bunch of different techniques using the painted blooms, the painted blooms honey cuts, and the layered wave stencil. I'm going to be starting off here with the layered wave stencil set. This is a two set layering stencil combo, really cool. I am going to use one of the stencils here to do some dry embossing today. You can see that I have the stencil taped onto my cardstock. I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine and when I take the stencil off the top that's going to just leave a really cool embossed piece for my project so that is all nicely embossed now really nice texture and this is actually some mixed media paper some heavier cardstock so I'm going to be using some medium specifically unchartered mariner distress oxide spray and so I wanted to use a cardstock that could take a little bit of moisture. So I've got this in my splat box. I'm going to just add that spray. Now I'm going to spritz it with water and I'll put a little bit more of the oxide spray on there just to create a little more color. I will use my heat tool to dry that up and when that's dry, I'm also going to put some sheer shimmer spritz over top and that's just gonna give a really nice sparkle and shine to this piece. So now it's got that gorgeous embossed texture. It's got some really nice sparkle and color. And I'm also going to put some white spotter on here. So this is just a little bit of, this is a product called Copic White, but you could actually splatter on with any type of white medium and acrylic white paint or something like that. I'm splattering that on just with a older paintbrush and just gonna give that just a nice bit of white splatter. And that's just gonna, once again, add a little bit of dimension and interest to my background. I'm gonna squeeze some larger drops on there. And when this is all dry, it just looks really cool. And I love that embossing texture the color, the splatters, the shine. It's really fun. I have cut this down slightly smaller than an A2 size card. Now I'm going to be also using this gorgeous painted bloom stamp set. I'm not using each one of the stamps from the set. I just put a variety of the stamps onto my white cardstock. This is just some 80 pound cardstock. I'm going to treat the paper with my anti-static powder tool because I am going to be doing some embossing. And this is my Distress Oxide ink in speckled egg. I'm going to stamp out all of my images there with that. And I'm going to now use my Honey Bee Clear embossing ink over top. So I haven't taken my stamps off. They're still in their original position on my Misty so that I can go ahead and stamp over top of those speckled egg stamped images again with my embossing my clear embossing ink and I'm going to do some embossing over top of those stamped images so I'm just going to go ahead and get the clear embossing ink over top and now I'm going to take my sea glass embossing glitter from wow and I'm going to add that over top and it's just going to create these really pretty glittery shiny sparkly floral so I'm just going to finish adding that embossing powder or the embossing glitter, I should say, to my floral pieces here. And when I've got that all ready to go, I'm just going to take my embossing gun, my heat tool, and melt that embossing glitter over top of those florals there. I'm just gonna take some time to move my heat tool around my paper and melt that embossing glitter. It's just going to create such gorgeous florals. I really love how this turned out. I like the color of the speckled egg with the Uncharted Mariner. I think it's a really pretty color combo. So just making sure that I have everything all melted there and I'm just gonna show you how sparkly and shiny these florals are. Now this is the die set that coordinates with the painted blooms and I just want to show you that if you flip your um, bloom set over onto the die set you can see how the dies are arranged in the same order on the die sheet as they are on the stamp sheet so it's really easy to find the coordinating die for the stamps. I've used the Circle Scapes die. This is actually called Circle Scapes Shakers. And I used the, the frame to cut out my little frame here. I'm also going to be using my Lovely Layers vines to uh, embellish my wreath that I'm going to be creating here with that circle shape. So I'm just gonna take all of these die cut pieces and just kind of 
cut and trim my little vines and my um, florals as I need to or uh, my little leaves as I need to and so on and create just a really pretty delicate beautiful little wreath I know that I did a wreath card exactly the same as this not too long ago but with different techniques and so I just wanted to share with you again how you can use this set to create a wreath as well I love this painted bloom set there's so many tons of different ways you can use it and I really loved creating these beautiful and embossed images for this sweet little wreath and I love that um, circle shape shaker frame set is just a really great die set for not only making uh, shaker cards but you can also use those uh, three different sized frames that are in that set to create different wreaths you can e even actually create more than one wreath and use them on the same card if you want in different sizes so lots of cool ways that you can use those now here you can just see I'm assembling the, the uh, wreath and just making sure that I have some some foliage and those little vines all mixed in looks super super pretty and I've used a combination of foam adhesive and just liquid adhesive to get my little pieces added onto that frame I'll add that onto that lovely uh, mixed media backdrop there I'll add that onto my top folding a2 size portrait card base and that is almost going to finish off my project today I'm also going to be using the foil script wishes specifically the love you foil plate and die to cut out this stunning sentiment for the front of my card I have some foam adhesive on the back of that piece to pop it up onto my card front I'm also going to be using these gorgeous um, pearl stickers these are the ocean waves pearl stickers from honeybee this is a brand new release I've used the white pearls on the centers of each of my flowers and that's going to finish off my card I have linked up to all of the different products that I used for this project in the description box below thanks so much friends for joining me today and I'll see you soon bye bye